everybody. Here we are starting another week. It's exciting. Last week I reminded everybody that there were important things like uh, having the sun come up and hearing the birds sing their morning song and just enjoying it for what it was. And I was able to point out, of course, that where I am, it's particularly cold last week. And this week it's even colder, but the sun is shining, the birds are singing. What more could we want? Perhaps we're looking for some certainty. And uh, that brings us to the subject of today's little chat, change. Change is around us all the time, whether we like it or not. Uh, even the change in the weather is a change. And for some of us, depending what our role is out there in uh, business land, that can make a difference, can make a huge difference to how our business operates. So with change around us all the time, how come change frightens so many of us? You know, as I'm often known to say, uh, change is a wonderful thing as long as you're in charge of it. So change imposed upon us causes us problems, but if we change things ourselves using our own motivation, then change doesn't seem to be a bother at all. It's just another part of a day. And very often, of course, we find that very exciting that we're introducing change. So with all these changes happening, what are the changes that we should look to? And, and indeed, how can you cope with change? At the end of the day, change is just another set of circumstances in which we're going to perform whatever it is that we perform. So if change happens, what we need to do is recognize the change. And we need to see the change clearly so that we understand what the circumstances are that, it, that we're going to be engaging with. Because that's all we're doing all the time is we're engaging with a set of circumstances. So if they change, perhaps we have to approach it somewhat differently. But essentially what we do need to do is to see the change for what it is so that we are very clear on what the new circumstances are. And then we need to take action accordingly so that we can achieve whatever it is we want to achieve within these new circumstances. So if we look at change that way, perhaps it's not so, uh, so frightening, I should say, and it's somewhat more exciting. They say that a change is as good as a holiday. So maybe we just need to be looking at change as, okay, this is as good as the holiday. And perhaps we shouldn't put off the holiday just because of the change. Have both. Enjoy it more. So... We've got changes happening right now around this COVID-19 thing, and that's to do with the JobKeeper situation. The government introduced JobKeeper 1 so that uh, we had an opportunity of uh, staying in business or a better opportunity of staying in business when everything was locked down. And now we're looking towards JobKeeper 2. So that's going to mean a change, and it, it may very well affect you directly because it's going to change the rules about how you can access JobKeeper. And that means it might be for yourself, might be for your staff. But in changing the rules about that, we need to understand what the circumstances are so that we can be best placed to take advantage of it or not, depending on our circumstances. So I put together a webinar, which will be on next Monday, the details of which are, are in the post beside this live, so that you can be well informed and make decisions appropriately for your personal situation so that you can keep up to date with the JobKeeper situation. It's, it's going to change a number of things, including eligibility and the time that it's available. JobKeeper 1 expires 27th of September. So by being uh, well advised now, you can be in front of the game, so to speak, 
when the changes happen. So join me on that webinar next Monday and that'll keep you up to date. I'll be joined by Clelia Martin of Safety in Numbers Group and she's got herself well across the, the changes that are uh, presented at this time. She'll be able to keep us up to date, let us make better decisions about how we move forward with all of this. Change is a good thing as long as you're in charge of it. So let's get on top of the changing circumstances. Stay in charge of everything to do with your business and just have an absolutely great time. And especially for this coming week, have a great week. Go out and do all of the things that you plan to do and make it really worthwhile. And I'll see you Monday.